Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley, and today I will be recreating this look right here. It's this beautiful, turquoisey, warm brown kind of eyeshadow look today. And I used the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette and the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette to recreate this look. So, if you'd like to find out how I made this look, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. And I actually just picked up a new eyebrow pencil yesterday. I'll just show you the packaging real quick. It's the Urban Decay Brow Beater Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. This is what I use to fill in my eyebrows. Whoa. What is happening? What is ha- That's never happened to me before. Okay. Just like popped out. That's weird. We'll roll with it, I guess. I hope it's not broken. That'd be awkward if it was broken. It actually was the last one at Ulta. So... Maybe it is broken. I hope not. Dang. That's kind of sucky. Okay, well, anyways, I'm just going to. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get out of mirror here. What is happening? Look at this. Like, what? I've never. Oh my gosh. Great, I bought a broken one. <laughs> That's never happened to me before. I love Urban Decay and I've never had like a broke or like, I don't know, it's never popped out on me like that. It's just so weird. <sighs> Good start to the video. Anyways, so I'm just gonna start filling in from the bottom. So what I like to do is I just like to draw a line so I start at the beginning and I just kind of like to draw a line on the bottom part to see where I want the bottom shape to be so I just like to shape it on the bottom first so just like this so I just pretty much just draw a line on the bottom and then I go on the top and I do another line on the top where I want it to go And I like to, this is the part where I fill it in because my brow doesn't grow there. So I draw like the little arch where I want it to go. Just like that. And this shade is a little light. So I will use another shade to like blend it in. So then I take it and I start making little strokes upward to make it look more hair-like. So I'll just do little tiny motions like that to make it look more like hair. And then, yeah, as you can see, I got a little, there we go. Got a little crazy there, but yeah. So then I just brush it out right there. And to blend that color, I'm going to take my, what is this? <laughs> my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Medium Brown. This is just what it looks like. I have tape on mine because I actually busted it. I need to be more careful. I bust a lot of stuff. But I take the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, brow cream in medium brown and then I just take a like flat like eyebrow or eyeliner brush. So I just dip it in and I just fill in the end and that helps blend it out more because it is a little bit light to the end of my tail. But it's perfect for the front. Like if I put this color in the front, it looks too dark. That's what makes it too dark. So I'm just gonna 
fill that in right there and it blends the neutral brown in it blends that color in so it looks there we go it looks more natural this way I might feather it in a little bit right here but that's about all I do for that and then I just take like a um, eyebrow brush and just ever so lightly brush through and that way it looks really there we go that's how I fill in my eyebrows it looks really nice and polished I don't usually use the uh, I don't usually use concealer I used to use concealer but I don't really think I need it anymore like I think this looks good as it is oh my gosh it happened again I think I bought a what is it oh my god I bought a messed up one of course I had to buy the messed up one And there we go, the eyebrows are finished. I'm gonna take my eye primer and just prime all over the lids. And then the other side, and yes, this is the um, Master Prime by Face Studio Primer in the shade 300 it's like a green base this is what it looks like so it's a green base to get help with redness control next I'm going to use a new blending brush that I picked up it is this one right here love the packaging I just live for the packaging these colors are so beautiful this is the brush crush um, brush <laughs> by Real Techniques. Um, I guess this is by Sam and Nick. I guess these are like limited edition. This is the back. It's just like a little blending brush. Um, and I'm super excited to use it because I've been needing a new blending brush. So here it is. Out of the packaging. Wow, it feels so nice. I love it. I love these colors. I should have bought the whole set. Like, oh my gosh. I just bought it individually because that's what it came in. But oh, like, I just want to feel. This is gonna be a nice brush, I can tell. So I'm gonna start by using the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basic Palette. And we're gonna jump into the shade Nudie right here. We're gonna jump into Nudie. And I am just going to put this in my crease. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love this brush. I can already tell. Oh my gosh, I needed this brush. Like, oh, I am in shock. I am in shock. There's like a, I have hair. I don't know what that is. It's on the eyelash, it's something. Oh my goodness. This shade is gorgeous. So pretty. I'm gonna do that on the other side. And I do this by going, first I go a little bit back and forth, and then I do circular motions. So, this brush is amazing, you guys. I do not have a brush like this at all. It does a perfect job of just blending it all in. This is so nice. It's just so light and fluffy. Like, I'm so impressed. My other blending brush 
does not do this to my eyes. Like this is just so amazing. This is a game changer. This is a game changer for my makeup. That sounds really extreme to say, but it's true. The brushes have a lot to do with how the makeup applies. If you don't have a very good brush set, I mean, it's not gonna apply correctly and you're gonna have to work a lot harder. Like, I just feel so effortless doing this and it is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I'm impressed. Okay. Next, I'm going to deepen up the outer V with the shade. We're going to go into Faith right here. Just deepen it up a little bit. I'm trying to build some of these colors. So I'm just going to go right on the outside here. This brush is... Oh, I need 10 of these. <laughs> I love this brush. So beautiful. See, I'm just putting it on the outer part and then I'm going to take it in a little bit right here. I'm just going to sweep it into the crease. Oh, I love it. I'm going to go on the other side and sweep it into the crease. Same thing. This brush is amazing, best purchase ever. This brush was, I think it was 10 bucks, but it's worth it. I mean, makeup brushes are kind of expensive, so. But I love, I love, I love, I love it. Next, I'm going to jump into the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Palette. This thing is awesome. It is just all, this is what it looks like. So, so, so pretty. It's all just metallic shades. So I'm gonna use this brush by Eco Tools. It's just like a flat shader brush, and I'm gonna jump into, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna jump into Demo right here, that really pretty shade, and we're just gonna go right here with it. Yeah, whoops, really bright. We're gonna go right here with it to Demo. I'm just putting it on the outer corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to jump into, okay, these turquoise colors, or this turquoise color is calling my name. So I think we're gonna do it. I'm gonna jump into Amp, this really pretty turquoise shade right here. It's calling my name, guys. I gotta use it. So I'm gonna put it right on the middle. Oh, yes. Yes, please. This shade is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I haven't had a chance to play around with this palette too much, but wow. Wow, oh wow, okay. That's super pretty. I love it. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to go all the way in the corner, because so I'll put another shade in there, but wow, this shade is gorgeous. It has taken my heart. Wow. It is so pigmented and bright. I love it. I'm going to go back into the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to use let's see, a smaller brush and I am going to go back into that lockout color and just kind of deepen a little right there. Then I'm going to go back, I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times, back into the shade Demo and go over right there. Cuz 
we need to blend that color together more. So I'm gonna go into this shade, ground, and I'm just gonna deepen it up a little bit. So here we go. I'm just gonna go on the outer V and tap it in there. Just to deepen it up enough. Because I really want it to be deep. Let's see, okay, so I think I'm gonna do this color, Maiden, right here. It's a really pretty gold color. I think I'm gonna do it for my crease, like the inner crease here. Ooh, yes, I like that. Oh, that's pretty. That is super pretty. I love this eye look, guys. Like, I am obsessed. It's so pretty. I'm actually going to put like a little bit like a hair of it, just up here. Yeah, just a little bit under my brow. Cause that is just too pretty not to put under your brow. Like, oh my. Oh, that gives like a really beautiful glow. So I'm gonna do that on the other side too. Just putting Maiden underneath my brow. That is so, so pretty. So pretty. Then I'm just gonna take my, I'm gonna take my blending brush one more time and just kind of blend that together. Blend it all in up there. really pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it. And I am going to go back into Faith one more time just to deepen right up here. Yeah. Just to deepen that crease one more time. So I'm going in circular motions to blend. And I'm just gonna blend that all together. Oh, you guys, I'm obsessed. I love this makeup look. Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, circular motions to blend. I'm going to move into eyeliner. First, I'm going to start off with the NYC Hot Definition Eyeliner. It's just a normal pencil. Whoop. Okay. So I like to start off by drawing a line where my eyeliner is going to go. That's pretty much all I use this for now. Like, I don't really use the rest of this. I just draw it for a line. Next, I'm going to use the Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. Just looks like this and it's super super thin that's why I get the skinny one and I'm going to start in the middle and draw my eyeliner so I start off by just drawing a line and then I'm gonna end up connecting it to where I drew the outline so Draw this line like that. So draw it thinner in the middle, or not in the middle. <laughs> draw it thinner towards the inner corner, and as you keep going, draw it thicker. It gives it a better effect. It also makes your eyes look bigger, but it gives it's a better effect than just having like 
just thick liner all the way across. So now I'm just gonna take it and connect it through. So see how I'm like connecting the liner to what I originally drew? That's how, that's kind of my trick on how I get my eyeliner to look the same pretty much every time. Sometimes they're a little bit thicker or thinner or longer depending on the day. But this is how I do my eyeliner every single time. And there we go. That's how I do my eyeliner. The Eco Tools really ultra fine liner brush, it's just really thin, and I'm gonna go back into the shade Lockout from the Ultimate Basics palette, and I'm just gonna apply that right under here. Yeah. Same on the other side. So I'm going to take ground and put it right at the bottom. Do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to take demo which was that other shade we used right here. I'm gonna take some demo and put it right next to it. It's that same brown shade that we use up here, the sparkly, shimmery, metallic brown. I'm just gonna put it right next to it. So I'm doing this instead of tight lining. I don't wanna tight, li tight line my under eye today. I feel like it just, I just don't feel like it. I think it would look better without it. And then I'm going to jump into the star of the show, this beautiful turquoise shade Amp. And we're just going to put that right under. This really is the star of the show. Like, this color is bomb. It's just so good. It's just so beautiful. This shade is gorgeous. So, so pretty. I think this is probably my favorite shade in the entire palette. The metals palette. And I'm going to go into our shade Maiden. Just right here, the gold shade that we use for the inner corner, and I'm just gonna make sure it's on the bottom too. So, take that, put it down there. As well, oh, got a little, had a smudge right there. All right, it's fixed. So, yeah, oh. I got a smudge there too. I'm gonna clean this up in just a second after I do my mascara I'm just gonna clean up underneath the eye because there is a little bit of fallout in this palette It's not that bad. You can see a little bit of the fallout But it again, it's not that bad. It's nothing that I can't handle <laughs> Or anyone like I mean it's something you can't handle so I'm just gonna take my blending brush and just blend these together Real quick because you don't want it to look I don't want it to look not blended, so I'm just gonna blend these together. Oh, 
It's so beautiful. Like, I love these shades. Okay, now I'm going to move into mascara. So I'm going to be using the Scandalize Mascara by Rimmel London. It is the Volume Flash Scandalize. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes because I like to curl them. I think that it does help a lot. And look at my face. It turns pink from where I like put my hands. It's crazy. Then I'm just gonna apply some mascara on my eye. I'm gonna do lips and before I do lips I'm going to do chapstick I always do chapstick before I put on anything else so next I'm going to use the NYX plush gel lipstick in the shade nude beach I love this stuff like I just love a nude I just love a nude color just being honest I'm gonna mix it with the NYX plush gel lipstick in the shade breakup which is kind of funny just a little bit makes it a little bit darker just makes it like a little bit darker and then I'm gonna finish off with the bare minerals marvelous moxie um, lip gloss in the shade a lister actually almost out of this stuff but I love it it just gives a beautiful gloss over your lips alright guys that is it for today's video this is the final makeup look I love it it is just so pretty and just so blue I love blue <laughs> but this palette is just awesome. If you're looking for a new palette that has a ton of shimmery metallic shades, I would highly recommend it. And I would recommend this palette if you are looking just for some simple um, matte shades, just some the basic matte shades. I would totally pick that up as well if you are looking for something new. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos.